Good day, watchers. Welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today I am featuring uh, a piece from, I think it's kind of a new company uh, based mainly in uh, AliExpress uh, retail. This is going to be just a little bit of silly fun. Yes, it is an homage watch, uh, but it's an homage of something that is relatively unique uh, and quite innovative in design, actually. Uh, so today's watch comes in, you know, just fairly standard cardboard little box here. So without further ado, let's just flip it around and take a closer look at what we have in here. All right, guys, so here we have the package on the table. Uh, premium, it isn't, but spinability, I tell you what, is excellent. You know, this is at least a four and a half uh, out of five. It's not the best ever, but one of the very best, I would say. So cheap cardboard, foam, microfiber, and they provided a manual, which, you know, I guess you can read that if you wish, uh, but this has nothing to do with this movement and layout itself. So not sure why that's even in there. Uh, it's got an unfilled uh, guarantee card in case uh, you want to fill it out and pretend that it actually works. So, you know, that's there if you want to do that. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to chuck that aside and going to show you guys this watch in closer detail, you know, and look at that. What a fun piece this is. So guys, what we have here is the iMemo Design Constantin Shaking Joker Watch Homage. Okay, yes, it is an homage, not an original design by any means. And if there is any doubts about this, I'm going to put a picture of the original Constantin Shaking uh, on the right here for you to see that, you know, no doubt about it, right? Okay, so MSRP listed as 100, not sure what that really means. Actual sale price around 30 to $35, depending on whether there's any sale or discount uh, or uh, links down the bottom to product that I can find for you guys to check it out. And there is another, uh, uh, I guess, branding of Dita. I'll, I'll put that down the bottom as well. It seems to be the same watch with different branding. All right, so first up, uh, let's, as I usually do, talk about the movement. So the movement in here, I thought it was going to be a single quartz movement, uh, which you know has a bit of a module or a gearing, but no, it's actually two separate Seiko PC21S movements. So very much a budget entry level movement, no jewels. Uh, it actually usually has hours, minutes and seconds, but uh, they've actually, uh, I guess, rigged it so that it's hours on one eye and minutes on the other eye. So I guess maybe that's the way, it, you know, that's the cheapest way to do it, given that this is really very much a uh, entry level, uh, very cheap quartz movement to get. A uh, rating, presumably plus or minus 15 seconds per month is what quartz gets, but there's no way for me to really test this. They don't even, uh, I guess, rig the seconds hand to display over here. Okay, talking about the case now, the case is in some sort of steel. I suspect it's not 316L steel. Uh, it's 42 millimeter diameter, uh, 11.2 millimeters in thickness uh, from bottom to top of the glass there, 20 millimeter uh, lug width and lug to lug distance of 47.8 millimeters between my thumbs there. Overall weight, very light with leather strap, 55 grams only. Very easy to forget this is on your wrist really in, at that type of weight in my opinion. Finishing wise is you know, as I pan it around, you'll see 100% polish, and you can see my camera there. So 100% polish. There's no kind of differential finishing here. Uh, it's uh, got double plain push crowns at what are really kind of a 2:30 and 9:30 position. So kind of forming uh, in in playful, I guess, positioning of the ears of the face here. Uh, the uh, with that uh, case back with push crowns, it's 30 meters. One thing I will uh, point out is that it's a faux screw down case back uh, because you know I actually try to open this when I open this to show the movement I tried to use a case back opener but really it didn't work and uh, you know when I look closely there's actually a tab right there to actually just friction off the case back so it's just a friction case back I find it a little bit annoying that they tried to make it look like a screw down to fool you so that that 
you know, that pisses me off a bit, actually. It's actually just a friction case back. So 30 meter water rated is what this is. Uh, I wouldn't really trust this to have any splashes. Uh, try not to let anybody cough on it either because you may well stuff up the innards of this watch. Okay, so moving on to the dial now. So the dial here is, uh, I guess, a textured a white dial. There's a radial uh, pattern that is uh, variably reflective. Hopefully as I, I'll try to pan this around. As I pan this around, hopefully you can see that the actual reflection, you know, of the surface of the dial here changes depending on how the light falls on it. And I, and I presume that's actually taking off the real thing, you know, there's a, uh, I guess a texture that reflects the light variably between a kind of a brighter white and more of a light gray. It's got applied Clou de Paris uh, pattern on the forehead and nose uh, or bridge of the nose there. It's got applied eye rings and then I think the red lips are kind of embossed, kind of polished gloss red lips there. It's got uh, matte white discs for the eyes okay, with that black dot. So that, that's the pointers for the hours and minutes that you can see there. So the hands, so to speak. And then it's got a matte black disc with a red tongue. Okay, and you can see that tongue I don't know what changes its position. I can't get, you know, there's nothing linked to the crowns and uh, there's no way I can kind of manipulate that, but it does change position from left to right. And I don't know when it does that. It's a little bit creepy actually. So if you know how to manipulate that tongue position, let me know, but I'll, I'll put, you know, screenshots here of different positions that I have in fact seen this tongue in. Uh, there is no loom on this watch and you know i guess that's something you may just have to put uh, up with above the dial is a flat mineral crystal nothing more than that okay so moving on to the strap now this is a stitched uh, black croc pattern leather right red stitching uh, is what this is and it's got a red backing so that's kind of cool plain you know polished buckle there and it's got of course those decorations for the Kind of jester's cap and the suit and tie motif okay so that's the entire description on the watch uh, let's just try it on the wrist for a wrist shot for you guys now all right and there we go guys the imimo design constantin shaking joker homage on my 17 centimeter wrist that's how it sits so remember 42 millimeter diameter 47.8 millimeter lug to lug width or distance i should say and just uh, over 11 millimeters on the thickness there. That's how it sits. Okay, there we go. So, you know, what have I enjoyed about this watch? It is such a conversation piece, isn't it? it, it you know, immediately people want to stare at this and, and it, it's, it's a great one. It certainly has gotten quite a lot of comments and it starts conversations as to what exactly this is trying to be, and it's really a fun design. It's a budget homage of what is uh, a fairly famous, iconic design. Uh, it is an homage, so no uh, kudos here for any originality, but you know, pretty cool design is what it is, I think. Uh, I would say this leather strap, uh, I guess, you know, apart from the case, the leather strap is actually surprisingly good. Um, probably one of the best ones at the you know, $30 mark that I've seen. It is comfortable, fairly supple, reasonably well done and you know one thing I would say you're getting you're kind of getting two movements in one watch usually that movement costs ten dollars if you want to get it uh, so that's a huge uh, chunk of the price is going to be the value of the movements here two separate ones two separate batteries what have you what are the weaknesses well basic quality and feel is what I would say I'm not even sure whether this 316L steel uh, it probably isn't it may be something like 304L steel but let me know if you know uh, for sure and you know the construction is fairly simple you saw the open case back there's nothing very solid about it at all you know as it's closed up and sealed up you know it's okay for a 30 dollar watch and uh, there is no loom so if you want loom this is not the watch for you uh, and then i did mention it's a faux screw back which i think is really annoying uh, I, I don't like that they've done that uh, shame on them for trying to fool people into thinking it is a screw back construction. It is not by any means. Uh, and then overall, I would say, you know, it is definitely basic functions, right? Just hours and minutes. There is no seconds here. Not everybody will want that. So, you know, if you want seconds, this is definitely not a watch that has that. And it's also challenging to read, right? It's not something that you're going to be able to glance and get the time. 
takes some getting used to and even when you're used to it it's going to take you some time to read the time uh, i reckon that's what i found in my experience uh, lastly i would say of course ultimately an homage and if you don't like homage if you don't like a watch that has taken the design from someone else and kind of done an homage this isn't for you okay so there we go you know a little bit of silly fun on this watch uh, this is my thoughts on this uh, imemo design let's flip the camera around now for the wrap up so there you go guys my review of this homage of the Constantin Shaken Joker watch you know something that is uh, really quite unique and very eye-catching on the wrist let me know your thoughts on this uh, you know rather uh, fun little piece maybe silly little piece you might think uh, you know just let me know uh, how do you feel about it you know would you wear something like this or do you think it's just a little bit too ridiculous guys as always if you enjoy my videos do consider subscribing new content every week always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology thank you again for sticking with me and as always i'll catch you guys again next time